right ratio to size the does it, or does it, mm -hmm. do you just get close to the ball? We, we set the vest, uh, ejector venturi up on the bench in there, and we uh, had some pressure sensors here, and we also knew our flow rate and pressure here. Done, and done it with the, and with we, the we had a manometer. manometer. We yeah. had a manometer also. We also had little pressure sensors that we could get a reading off of. And we, we were trying to figure how um, how small that nozzle, that small nozzle, how small it needs to be, and exactly where in this in this profile it needs to be. Was it right here, right here, right here? We found out Tight. that right uh, right as this starts to constrict, Tight, right. we were right in there. And that's and where we got the, the greatest pressure drop across. And the same thing with different medium until you got the medium that you wanted in yeah. here? Yeah, so it's a balance between the pressure drop across that medium. The, um, the type, the particle size, all of that. Um, so then whenever we got the ejector venturi set up, we um, looked at the filter. And the, and the argon equation, E-R-G-U-N equation, that is an equation of particle size um, and area and velocity. And, and you can actually uh, um, you can perform that calculation to see what kind of pressure drops you would expect. And then, of course, whenever you set up the experiment, you can kind of look at is your experimental curve and then your theoretical curve. And the pretty <coughs> much, you know, because as your flow rate increases across the filter, your pressure drop also increases. And that's actually an exponential curve. So like for right Yeah. Are you here tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Here all week. Uh, I'll be here all week. Thank you very much. Actually, <laughs> tomorrow I'm probably going to take, take a step back and, uh, uh, and then chill out for a bit. But, you know, I'll be here for half of the day at least. Okay, I think we're ready to rock.